Now I'm going to call upon the graduates who are representing the English medium and the Malayalam medium to come and uh, give the message that has been assigned to them. English Malayalam medium in the Prasangi Kuana and the Yoika Petitulover, Tutan the Wanda Avrade, Chamadala Naravetan Honorable President of India Bible College and Seminary, Pastor T. S. Abraham, Director Dr. T. Wilson Abraham, Chief Guest Reverend Dr. Amos Dodge and Miss Sue Dodge, respected teachers, special invitees, pastors. Well wishes and my friends, greetings to you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's a privilege for me to stand here representing the English medium graduates. Our theme for this year is New Beginnings. Human life on this earth is excited about new things. The work of great renewal can be seen in every areas of our life. The renewal of body takes during sleep. Our health is renewed with fresh air and food, a mind to the knowledge, and finally of a heart by love. Looking at our surroundings, we can see the renewing work of our master architect to this magnificent world. Of course, our God is the God of new beginnings, and He invites the entire humanity for a new beginning. Therefore, today I would like to entitle my message as an invitation to the people of God for a new beginning. The scripture portion for the day is Isaiah chapter 43 verses 18 and 19. Here it says, Do not remember the former things or consider the things of old. I am about to do a new thing now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make your way in the wilderness and rivers and the desert. The background of this passage is the prophetic utterance of Isaiah to the people of Israel in the Babylonian exile. Here, God invites his people who were about to complete the 70 years of uh, Babylonian captivity. Oh, I would say that the, the 70 years of training program under the clutches of Babylonian slavery. During those period, some of the people lost their lives. Some of the people lost their faith in God. But there was a remnant who kept the burning faith for God and, his, and the devotion to God. Now God is inviting them to have a new beginnings in their lives. God wanted to bring a new beginning, mainly through three different dimensions in the life of His people. First, the renewal of generation as seen in Isaiah chapter 61 verse 4. Now the remnant in the exile is facing a third generation phenomenon. The first generation directly experienced the mighty work of God in their life. But there came a second generation who look after the possession of the first and were proud of the their experience of their fathers. Here come a third generation who were not at all excited anything about that happened in the past. They lost their faith and identity. Even they refused to known as the people of God. This was a situation in which God inspired the great man of God, Yesra, to renew the generation with the word of God. Dear graduates here, we need to be reminded of our call and the commitment that we made before our God. Today, we need the mighty anointing of the Holy Ghost to renew our generation and bring them back to God and His Word. Second, the renewal of society as seen in Nehemiah chapter 5 verse 9. During the exile, people, those who were called to reflect the very nature of God, became defiled. Injustice, discrimination between the rich and poor became so prevalent in the land. Now God wanted the, the people, those who are in the exile, to renew the society with the kingdom values. Today, we face 
the challenge to propagate the kingdom values in our land. Therefore, we as the kingdom builders, we need to be renewed with the passion for God's great work in our land. We need to propagate the kingdom values such as justice, peace, love and joy. God loves the old world and demonstrated it by sending his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. If you and I say we love the Lord, what is our contribution to our society is a critical question that we need to answer today. Thirdly, the renewal of passion for God's mission as seen in Isaiah chapter 43 verses 18 and 19. Here the prophet tells the people to forget about what happened in the past and get ready for a new exodus by renewed passion for God's mission. Exile made the people to be lethargic in all their responsibility. God wanted them to get up from the current position and witness and participate in the new beginnings that he is going to fulfill in their life, which they never expected in their lives. Dear graduates, the message which is spoken years ago is the message for us today. We have a great task ahead of us to pro propagate the new beginnings in our land. There is an amazing contrast between God's actions and man's efforts. Throughout the centuries, there were great men and women of God who responded to the invitation of God, such as Martin Luther, John Calvin, John Knox, even in India, Pandita Ramabhai, William Carey, Pastor K. Abraham, and so on. They were merely the ordinary people of the society with an extraordinary power to renew the society. Today, God is looking for the men and women of God who can respond to the invitation that he is extending to each and every one of us. Will you and I be a one among the invitees of God today? We need to step out into this land to propagate the good news of the gospel of Christ. Then that will be a, a new beginning in our land. Let us submit our life into the hands of the Lord. May the good Lord bless us through these words. Amen.